I'm Jared Brooke, Extension Wildlife Specialist with Purdue University, here with another wildlife habitat hint. I'm out here in a recent shelter wood harvest uh, in this woodland, and I want to talk to you today about why this is one of my favorite ways to create food and cover for a variety of wildlife species. So those that aren't familiar with what a shelter wood is, essentially is a shelter, uh, shelter wood is a technique where you remove a certain number of trees from a stand, but you leave a lot of different species, especially mass producing species, like most of these white oaks, red oaks, black oaks, and hickory trees behind me here. So the reason why it's one of my favorite ways to create food and cover in woodlands for wildlife, number one, you increase the amount of sunlight coming through the canopy by removing a certain amount of trees. And as you can see behind you, this creates a lot of vegetation on the ground level, which creates a lot of food and a lot of cover. Um, so thinking things like deer, this is a great place for deer to leave their fawns, but also there's a lot of species in here that deer wanna eat. So some of the things you may get back after a shelter wood harvest would be things like blackberry. There's lots of blackberry in this stand here, which deer will browse readily, but when they produce the fruits, the blackberries, it's gonna create awesome soft mast for a lot of songbirds and other wildlife species. You also get a lot of different native forbs in here. We have several species of goldenrod, desmodiums, um, I saw some Joe pie weed on my way in. Several species in here that are gonna be good for pollinators, they're gonna provide um, browse for deer, but also may provide seed for songbirds and other wildlife species. So you get all that food and cover with that light that comes in through the canopy. The second reason this is a really good technique for creating food and cover for wildlife is the fact that we are keeping most of our mass producing, hard mass producing tree species out here. So we have a lot of white oaks out here. We have several hickories and other oak species that are in, still left in the canopy. This is gonna help you retain a lot of your hard mast. And actually by giving those oaks more room to grow in the canopy, for their canopy to grow and expand, you may actually be increasing their ability to produce acorns. So you get all the food and cover here on the ground level, plus you're getting all the hard mast that's produced by all these oaks and hickories that you left. So that's the second reason. The third reason is this technique is really good to create oak seedlings and oak regeneration, which is gonna grow into the next oak forest. So if you look behind me here, they're hard to see here, but scattered all where I'm standing are oak seedlings that are about a foot to two feet tall. <clears throat> so if we use the technique right, and maybe we incorporate things like prescribed fire into it, we are gonna get really good oak regeneration in this stand. So that's gonna create our next oak forest, which in turn is gonna be producing hard mast acorns for many years to come. So those, those are some of the main reasons why I really like shelter woods from a wildlife standpoint. We have all the food and cover by the increased sunlight. We have our mass production, our acorns and hickories and things like that, that are left in the stand to left to produce all that food for wildlife. And this is really good to create that next oak forest and next oak and hickory forest. So really good technique to use from a wildlife standpoint, but also a good technique to really help create that next oak hickory forest.